Okay guys, so we have arrived in the small city of Lourdes on the foot of the Pyrenees Mountains. Pyrenees Mountains. Um, guys, right up there you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's the fort right up there, which we're gonna see later. But first impressions, it's a, it's a very old city. Um, I thought it was smaller, but it looks busier. The sun is really welcoming us nicely. Um, what else the mountain views guys wow the mountain views are just impeccable so we're really looking forward to seeing what more the city has to offer um but yeah let's get our stuff into the house into our airbnb and then we can explore the city more let's go We are out and about in the city of Lourdes now and just to give you guys a little bit of a foundation about the city before we wander it today our tour guide is our spiritual leader Hillman yes so Hillman what is okay. important about the city what should we know so basically um, Lourdes was a very insignificant city in the past not really insignificant but it was just a city another city in the foothill of the Pyrenees Mountains and not really that much about it except the fort which we're also going to see hopefully so that's like the oldest um, secular artifact or secular monumental thing in Lourdes right until um, when was it again 1858 when the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to the 14 year old Bernadette basically she appeared to her 18 times right 18 times in the space of so from February to June July there were 18 apparitions so then from that moment on the city became what it is now so basically after Rome Lourdes is the second most popular um, pilgrimage destination in Europe so basically just because of the apparition of Mary to this to this little girl and the building of the Basilica and the, the springs which have supernatural healing powers um, Lourdes has become as popular as it has become now so basically hopefully we're gonna go around the city and see some of these sites see where um, um, see where basically um, I think the house of the girl is somewhere around here basically where Mary appeared to the girl and then um, see where they built the, the basilica to commemorate that see where the sanctuary is see where the springs the, the, the healing springs also come out and hopefully maybe see the fort so as, along the way we're going to give more information about these places but for now basically that's the gist of why Lord is as popular as it is now at least for the Christian um, community around the world well you heard it here first someone thank you very much for you're your welcome reporting live from <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you back with the weather report back. and back to you Kathy <laughs> So basically, guys, what happened here was Mary in 1858. So the Holy, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to the 14-year-old Bernadette, right? And she appeared to her in what is called a grotto. So like, uh, it's called the Masabiel Grotto. It's like a naturally um, formed cave in a wall. So basically, that's when Mary appeared to her. And there's a statue there now of the Blessed Virgin Mary. But when Mary appeared to her 18 times in one of the apparitions, she ordered um, Bernadette to tell the people of Lourdes to build a basilica in memory of that which would act as a, a, a spot for pilgrims to come through when they are going on their routes or also act as a spot to bless people because there's a spring that comes out of there as well and that blesses a lot of people it's been said that a lot of people come here to get healings from that but behind me basically is the basilica which was built in memory of that event and it is just wow we're gonna go closer and get a better view but this is definitely after rome like i said the second most visited spot for pilgrims just because Mary appeared here 18 times in the space of a few months. It's mad. So yeah, we'll go and see what the Basilica is like. Apparently it should be very beautiful. The building is magnificent, magnificent, he, magnificent. But um, yeah, we're going closer to see what more the building has to say or has to offer. How did the spring come to be? So basically in one of the apparitions, um, 
Mary told the girl, Bernadette, to dig a hole. Um, and from that hole which she dug, just the hole in front of the grotto, had to dig a hole. And from that hole, basically, a natural spring of water just, just developed. And that spring of water has a lot of healing power. People come here, pilgrims come here in numbers to just bathe in the water and get blessed by the water and get healing powers and stuff like that. So I don't know, maybe we'll get to see that spring as well. Um, but I don't know what is accessible, so we have to find out more when we get closer to the basilica and closer to the grotto. But without further ado, let's go. Behind us now they're having mass so we can't really go closer um, but basically this is where the apparition happened so this is basically where Mary appeared to the girl so if you look there you have a statue of Mary and then underneath she was instructed to dig a hole so basically there's a hole there where the spring comes out of I don't think everyone has access to that so basically I think they have mass here often as well um, because of course this is just a significant point in the Catholic Church so I think all the pilgrims who come through would at least appreciate having one mass or one service um, done here so now they are having mass in Latin which is the original language of the church um, yeah guys it's just crazy for me especially as a Christian who has heard about a lady of lords and appearing to this girl and being able to stand in the grounds where that actually happened is just mind-blowing but yeah this is the Masabiel Grotto, where in 1858 the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to Bernadette. Okay guys, so we have just come back from the sanctuary um, from the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lords. We're going now to the fortress of Lords. 
So that's like a 1,000 year old um, fortress, which is basically the oldest non-Catholic related um, monumental thing you have in Lourdes. So we're walking there now because it's not far. Lourdes is not that big of a city, so everything is quite close to each other. So we're walking there now from the sanctuary and basically I can already see it in my my preview now and we'll be there in a few seconds so let's see what that has to offer as well they said it's a it's a good climb um so it's worth the climb because the views up there are really spectacular um but you can also take the lift for free to the top so let's see which option we are going to go with So we came to the fort and uh, it's up here, but it's closed. So we have to come back in the morning and we just roll out of bed because it's literally in our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's literally in our backyard so we can just roll out of bed <laughs> and go for a climb <laughs> before going to the Pyrenees Mountains. The Lodge is a small, cozy city. I think we're actually close by... Uh, interesting all right so it's time to have some road trip dinner talk chat and then sleep and get ready for tomorrow basically <laughs> there's supposed to be sign language translation yeah With very inclusive video it's day five of the road trip I just woke up did a workout, got killed again by design. Um, I'm out here, the sun came out to be sunny today. So I'm here receiving my uh, monthly dosage of vitamin D. Um, and then we're going to back to the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lords to see if we can do the stations of the cross. So like this special walk and there's um, a special set of stairs which you can climb and a lot of pilgrims climb the stairs on their knees as an act of penance. Uh, so we're gonna see if that is open today because yesterday it was closed when we went there. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to the um, fortress of, uh, of Lourdes. That's like another um, historical place in Lourdes, which is which has nothing to do with the apparitions of Mary, but it's just another place. So we'll see how that is. It's also climbing. And then after that, we're going to the Pyrenees Mountains to do day one of climbing as well. Uh, that's supposed to be beautiful. We don't know for sure yet if the snow is melting, because apparently it would be better if the snow is just melting. The views are better. Um, but yesterday when we are coming in, we are riding in, we saw snow on the mountain, so we don't know, depending on what mountains we're going to go to. Later in the afternoon, we're going to the Pyrenees for the first time. And then tomorrow again, we're going for another round of climbing the Pyrenees Mountains. So I'm looking forward to all of that. It's going to be exciting. For now, let's get a shower, get cleaned up, get breakfast, and hit the road, Jack. So we tried to find the Stations of the Cross uh, from the directions that we're giving but it is not clear so we went to ask and they told us we have to go outside and then start climbing to go up so we're gonna try to find Do you see there like a little building with a cross I think that is maybe where they Yeah so we see the first cross. station from here but we just don't know how to get to the first station so they showed us how to go to the first station so we're gonna try to find our way to the first station of the cross it's gonna be interesting come see come sir so we have to cross there okay chemin de croix chemin the core. Yeah, guys, it looks like we found the stations of the grass. Ooh. Quite sweet. So here, the stations of the cross begin. So here they begin, and this is the holy stairs which you have to climb to go to the first station, Jesus being condemned to death. Wow, guys, this takes me back. This takes me, this takes me back to the days, man. And this is what I also meant with the pillar. 
Oh yeah, the stairs are they look right. Yeah, the stairs look like they're knee friendly, guys. <laughs> as as knee friendly as they can get. That does not look nice. What a view to be doing a stream of the cross with. And Let's the look at the view. I would not mind doing stream of the cross here. Okay, let's go, let's go. And then just go on here. <laughs> you know what has been helpful now? The stick. A stick. We taught dumbasses. <laughs> Trying to be smart. You barely moved in the frame. <laughs> <You're still there. laughs> 